In this video, you will learn how to set up recurring payments. If this feature is not enabled for your TPN, please contact your agent and ask them to enable it for you. First, log into the iPospays portal. Go to the My Customers page. If the customer you wish to set the recurring payment to is already in the database, search and select the customer. And choose Add Recurring Payment. Here, you can enter the customer data for which you wish to set up the recurring payment. Now, if you wish to create a recurring payment for a new customer, just click on the action box. Select Add Customer. Here, you can enter the customer data for which you wish to set up the recurring payment. The process of setting up a recurring payment is the same for existing customers as well as the new ones. After entering the customer details, click here to enter the card details. To make sure there is no problem in the card, you can choose to validate it. To do this, choose a Cloud POS TPN from the drop-down menu. Enter the required details in their respective fields. Once you're done, click here to validate the card. Now that we have created a new customer, let's set up a recurring payment for it. Click More. Select Add Recurring Payment. Now, enter the amount. Choose a Cloud POS TPN from the drop-down menu. Select the customer card. Here, you can configure the frequency of the payments. For example, to set up a monthly recurring payment, choose Monthly. Then, set the date from the calendar. The recurring payment will occur on the start date you set. The payment will then continue to occur every month on the same date. If you choose bi-monthly, the recurring payment will occur twice a month. Date 1 is the start date of the payment cycle. For example, if you choose third day, then the payment cycle will start on the third day of every month. Date 2 is the second payment. This will occur every month based on the date set in the parameters. For example, if you choose the 10th day, then the second payment will occur every month on the 10th day. In case the date is selected as 31, and the next month has only till the 30th, then the payment will be processed on the last date of the month. If you opt for a bi-weekly schedule, your recurring payment will happen once every two weeks on the day you select. For instance, if you choose Thursday, and set the start date for December 28th. The next payment will take place on January 11th, which is one week after the previous payment date. This pattern will continue. If you select the weekly schedule, your recurring payment will take place every week on the chosen day. For instance, if you choose Thursday and set the start date for December 28th, the next payment will be on January 4th, also a Thursday. This cycle will continue until the recurring payments come to an end. Once you have set the frequency of the recurring payments, you need to set an end criteria. There are three end criteria to choose from. If you choose the never end option, the recurring payment will continue without any changes. If you select based on date, you can specify the exact day, date, and month on which the recurring payment should end. If you choose the last option, you can specify the exact number of times the recurring payment should occur. Once this maximum count is reached, the recurring payment will no longer take place. Once you're done, click here to finish the process. After setting up and the recurring payments start, you can go to the recurring payments page to view them in a single place. You can also view the past transactions and their status here. If you wish to edit or cancel the recurring payment, you can do so by clicking here. You can edit the frequency of the recurring payment and edit the cycle date of the next recurring payment or cancel it altogether. Once you've set up the recurring payment, you need to enable notifications. This way, you'll receive alerts whenever the recurring payment takes place. To do this, go to Settings, scroll down, and click on Recurring Payment Alert. 
Here, you can enable notifications. Don't forget to click save. Thanks for watching.